Good morning dear students our today's topic is finding the smallest number to be multiplied or divide so as to get a perfect square number i know the topic is little lengthy but when we will see the solved example you will definitely enjoy the sum yesterday we have seen two examples in that one number was a perfect square and one number was not a perfect square for that we have seen we need all the factors of the number in pairs now here we have taken one example and it is for multiplication by the smallest number now see 180 is the number and we want to factorize this number the factors of this number are 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 you can see that 2 and 3 are paired one but 5 is not paired as 5 is not paired it means that 180 is not a perfect square number but we want to find the smallest number which is to be multiplied so that 180 will become a perfect square number or we can convert the number to the perfect square number now you can see here 5 is not paired okay so if we are having 5 also in pair the number will be a perfect square number so here in next step i have multiplied by 5 to both the sides children remember whenever we want to balance the things we need to perform the same operation on both the sides so i have multiplied by 5 on left hand side also and on right hand side also so we got 180 into 5 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 now you can see on right hand side we have all the factors in the pair and on le uh, left hand side we are having 180 into 5 that is 900 and you can see that uh, as all the factors are in the pair 900 must be a perfect square number and as yesterday we have done square root of 900 will be 1 factor from 2 square one factor from 3 square and one factor from 5 square that is 30 and we know that square root of 900 is 30 or square of 30 is 900 isn't it children